Today we've been talking about carbon capture and storage. It's been around for a long time. It, it's about taking the CO2 out of in industry um, and storing it deep underground. We have a climate emergency. We need to reduce our emissions very rapidly and steep and the next decade will actually be very important to manage to, to have a chance to reduce emissions. It's very clear that we will not be able to reduce greenhouse gas emissions to zero uh, in any economy worldwide. <laughs> so it means you need to have removals. And one of the ways to have removals is carbon capture and storage. To some people it sounds strange that the idea of storing CO2 deep underground, is it safe, they say. Yes, of course it's safe. We store methane after all, and methane is explosive. Carbon dioxide we drink in our beer. Um, we can store that deep, deep underground, kilometres underground, where it will stay permanently. The technology exists, it's been used by the oil and gas companies for, for many, many years. It will get cheaper and more effective as, as time go, goes on. I'm the Commission has presented um, a proposal for a climate neutral Europe in the year 2050 uh, and we are in intensive discussions um, in the Council, in the Parliament, uh, but also in Member States in order to explain uh, what is behind it in order to push forward a decision making at the EU level, which will have to happen at the level of heads of state and government. We think that's very good, also not ambitious enough. We would aim to reach net zero by 2040, but it's an important and, and very good step uh, of Europe, meaning all sectors would need to contribute to the decarbonisation. No industry is going to just simply take the lead and, and do this thing by themselves unless there's a business case and it's up to the politicians, the policy makers, to create the business case to encourage industry to d deploy this technology on a huge scale. The long-term strategy is uh, moving to net zero means all sectors have to decarbonize. We have some hard to abate sectors. Uh, this includes steel making, this includes chemicals, plastics, cement. In those sectors we have remaining emissions and their CCS uh, probably has a role to play. So the key thing here is if we want to play in the CCS space and if we look at the urgency of playing in the CCS space we actually have to start now. In fact you can argue maybe we're already late and it's how do we therefore create the right environment to, to mo mobilize now while we're still working in parallel on other low carbon intense solutions. We should all have a huge sense of urgency about this now. I mean, the climate is changing before our very eyes and it takes time to deploy technology. It takes sometimes decades to get planning permission. And we have to be, we have to be building, if we're really serious about uh, stopping the emission of CO2 into the atmosphere on the scale that we need to be doing, then we need to be talking about uh, launching one new major construction project every couple of weeks across Europe. So we've got to up our game big time. 